Hello everyone and welcome back to a new Unreal Engine for you video. I know it's been a while uh, since I, I posted a video uh, about Unreal Engine. Uh, I actually didn't post any videos uh, during this time. It's been roughly like uh, six months. I, I've been busy in other uh, obligations and other stuff uh, at work. Uh, but anyways, uh, during this time, I've been uh, creating lots and lots of Unreal small projects, uh, like projects to try out things, to try out new features, or to try mixing something, or creating specific shader, or things like this. So what I decided recently is that this huge amount of, of uh, projects, I can give it to you. It's, it's just being done for purpose of learning or looking for solutions for some technical issues. And, but I'm not going to give it to you just right away. No, I'm, I'm, my plan is to post a video, I open the project, I show what is this project about. Uh, again, it's not huge projects, it's like every project is covering uh, a topic or an issue or a solution for something. So I, I make a video, I explain what, what I made here, the setup, it's big or small setup and then I, I post the, the link. This way it might be easier than uh, the older way of finding unique ideas for videos. I already now have the problems, I already have the projects made. All what I need is just break it down for you and give you the links. You are free to, to download the project, uh, have a look, uh, try it out, or even just copy stuff to your own project. It's totally fine. So let's start with this one. It's uh, I call it uh, physics driver. Uh, back in, uh, in around March or something, uh, during GDC, there were a nice talk by Naughty Dog. Uh, it's about how they made Nathan Drake, uh, actually not only Nathan Drake, but it was about animation and physics. And how uh, they, they used Havoc to, to do very good well simulation between the animation and physics itself. And how Nathan, for example, was uh, able to like... Uh, give some secondary reactions while the car was running or braking or doing things like this. I'm taking the car as one example, but there, there were plenty of examples. So I decided to, to like make something quick that looks like this. So we have here Nathan Drake, which uh, is our amazing mannequin, and then it's tied to a car, and then he can, like you can see his head and his body. It's 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 pretty much exaggerated, but you can control and tweak some values. But I'm speaking here about the main setup. So the setup was to try out: Can I do this in Unreal? I of course know that I can do this in Unreal, but how to do it in Unreal? What is the shortest path? Uh, how can I get a good quality? Uh, here there were some limitations, I'll explain, but uh, yeah, that, that was the thing. So let's uh, check this out. So this is basically the, the default uh, uh, car example you, you get with Unreal. And then I imported the mannequin from uh, a third-person controller project. And here, what I made. So I, I, I wanted to pose mannequin here to be in... Uh, Inside the car, sitting down, but at the same time, I didn't want to like open in 3D Max the the character and, and like do the pose for him or something like this. So I came here to the mannequin, to the animations itself, and I opened the the idol itself, and then from here within the idol animation itself, I just uh, I stopped and I start posing my character to whatever pose I want. And after I pose the character, I came here to create asset. Uh, sorry, I came here and start recording. And just, I recorded one second, I stopped. And this has resulted for me to have a new animation that is contains a pose. And then I opened this new animation, and then I came to the first pose. And then I came from create asset, create pose asset, and current pose. Because this way I exported the pose itself to be a pose file. And then I use this pose file to create a new animation file. I created an animation using this pose and I give the animation duration of 100 uh, frames and that's it. I, it's only the only important thing to do here. Actually, you'll see this is a pose and this is uh, the recorded animation and this is a final animation. Uh, one thing to keep in mind here is that in the animation, uh, you have to put the pose here to be as the previous the preview pose asset and also here you have to add a curve and the curve I added it as you see it contains something pose pose 3 and this pose 3 actually if you open here you'll find the pose it's called pose 3 now it's 0 because this is the default if you blend this is a pose 3 uh, so this is a very quickly and hacky way you can do within Unreal itself to to have 
some animations or some poses without the need to open uh, any other application like my or Studio Max. So what else I done? So I selected the car which comes by default within the example here and then I open to edit and within the car itself I added here a few things. So I added a mannequin driver which is a skeletal uh, mesh component and then I added here the default mannequin and here I added uh, use blueprint animation and I created a new blueprint animation using the new animations I've created. Also, I added uh, a two I key handles uh, for the left and right hands, as you see. So here, this is for the left and the other one for the right hand. Now, the most of the work is done in the blueprint animation. So if you open the blueprint, it is not fancy. Don't get panicked. It doesn't have anything, actually. Uh, here in the event graph, every frame, I just make sure that uh, the, the the pawns that I'm controlling is the, is, is the car itself and from the car I can get the two points that I have created these two arrows, the left and right so I'm getting the IK handle left and IK handle right and then I get their wallet position and then I store this in a local variable so now this means I get this point in the wallet here and here and I store it here in the animation blueprint why I do this? because I need this for the IK so Forget those three things, I'll break down now and let's come to the IK. So I added something called 2 point IK. You probably heard of this. So the 2 point IK is basically going to simulate an IK chain. So what I done here, I added the 2 point IK, one for the left hand, one for the right hand, and every one I choose what hand it's going to affect. It's left hand here and right hand here. Uh, how I knew this is a bone I'm going to affect, basically I opened my character, skeleton. And then I just click here and knew it's hand L and this one is hand R. This is what I need to control. So I set the bones and then I set wallet space because basically when when I got the values here, I got the get wallet location. So the point, whatever point I get here or here, it will be a wallet location. So it's back here. So I set it to wallet space and almost nothing else. I just connected the point which I stored here in a variable and the other point here. And this helped me to be able to have an IK even if the game is not running at runtime. So if I open the vehicle here and start moving this, you will see the hand will be moving with it. So this is uh, how I, I make him like uh, in this pose and his hand stuck. So you can put the hands actually the uh, those two locators for the IK, those two arrows you can put on the driving wheel and then the driving wheel have its own uh, logic within the blueprint that controlling its animations and the hand will be following in a fancy way. Uh, so this is for the IK for the hand. And then here we have three little things that's called spring controller. Spring controller actually is something to do uh, secondary animation or some reactions or some interactions. Which is uh, so I get here the sequence, the animation sequence itself that I was able to create here. Uh, this one, yeah, this is the animation, and then I feed it to the pose itself. Because if I get this animation, I put it here, the character will be standing. I have to feed it to the pose here because basically this is this is basically this pose thing this is actually what you have here in the animation as a layer pose 3 so this is how it works if I have here something called pose 4 so basically I need to put it here as well and feed this to it so it, it, it gets the final result of this pose. Uh, local to component and component to local, these things are automatically generated for you whenever you try to connect, uh, so don't bother. So what I added here is actually the spring. I add spring to the head and spine to and pelvis. So the head and spine to is here and pelvis is there. Uh, this is spring is, is, is pretty easy. So this is for the head, I choose the head bones. This is for spine to, choose spine bone to. Uh, bone, sorry, and uh, this for the pelvis, I choose the pelvis bone from here. And then you can tweak some values here, like uh, the stiffness and damping. It's it's, it's uh, clearly like uh, physics uh, attributes. There was nothing to describe here. If you know physics, if you used physics before, so this is how to do it. Uh, uh, this is 
this is what does those values mean uh, sometimes you need to add some limits sometimes you don't need to add limits it's back to you it's back to what you see uh, but there is one thing important thing to mention here the animation resulted by the physics and spring you can control in which axis it's going to be as a translate animation or it's going to be rotate or it's going to be a mix of both so for example for the head i know that my head could uh, could go a little up and down but it cannot go uh, move like translate on left or, or translate on, on front it will make no sense uh actually it makes no sense to translate up but uh, I'm, I'm going to describe why i use the um, but it's clearly that your head can rotate in several angles but the idea here is rotate x and rotate y and rotate z within a spring controller it's not uh, working with unreal engine uh, it might be a bug it might be something in progress but uh, you can look around uh, it, it doesn't work uh, so i said translate z because those three are not working i let this uh, i marked those three to work just in case uh in a in a in an extra release unreal engine fixes this problem so i have it already marked for me and can work and i can check the results right away uh so it's translate z uh, so i can see the head moving on z and then here for the spine i made some rotations x and y and same as translating in y and z and same as for the builders i just added uh translating z uh yeah it makes no sense for the builders to, to to jump up and down but i wanted to have it more exaggerated so i can see it so if i forget about everything here and just connected this let's say here not this one let's take this local to component and feed it to here so this will mean I will skip any spring and will have the IK only applied. So if I hit play, my player will never do any spring, as you see, and only my hands will be like uh, connected this way. So back again, just connect this here, connect this one there, and boom. So the, imp the interesting thing here, if your character is doing animation, let's say for example your character, uh, the head bone here, he is, there is someone sitting next to him and the character is looking to him. So you can blend, you can put an alpha here to blend between the animation and the spring controller physics itself. This is the most powerful thing to do here. Uh, I cannot actually show this because uh, this animation is one pose, so there is no animations to show. But believe me, it's going to work. I tried it before. Uh, so yeah, this is the final result. Your character is doing some fancy stuff, tweaking some values, or uh, you can like enable for other body parts. It's totally back to you. you. Can enable for the neck. You can disable for the head. It's all back to you. But but yeah, uh, this is how you can get a driver that is almost accurately uh, responsive in terms of physics to the car. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to check uh, the Naughty Dog. Uh, talk from gdc 2017 if you have uh, access to the gdc vault if you don't have uh, try to check out the youtube video for the gdc they might have released this uh, now once in a while they release some videos so i don't know if there is and the link for the project is uh close the video don't forget to like share subscribe and yeah see you next time bye